Hello guys and welcome to another body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future tutorials just like this one. In today's video, we're gonna take you through a deep analysis on how to perform a front lever to muscle up. Specifically, we're gonna show you how to transition efficiently without breaking form from the support position all the way down to the front lever and back up. Firstly, to begin today's tutorial, you must try to practice all these exercises on a medium-sized single bar, meaning that the bar should be at around chest height. This is so that you are able to efficiently gain a false grip, which we are gonna to need to maintain throughout all these exercises. Additionally, the medium-sized bar allows us to efficiently retract our scapula before beginning the exercise. We're going to work the front lever to muscle up from the bottom up, and also from support position on the single bar, going from the top downwards. The goal is then to be able to combine these two movements by performing muscle up to front lever reps. Practice this movement both beginning from support, traveling down to an advanced tuck front lever hold, and also from the bottom going upwards. The key here is to maintain the false grip at all times. If at any stage you lose the false grip, transitioning smoothly back over the bar is going to be virtually impossible. If you are starting from the top going down, it's imperative that you gain that scapular retraction in the dipping phase. As you dip down, this is now your chance to retract your scapula and maintain that retraction all the way down to the front lever progression of your choice. And keep in mind, if you are unable to maintain the scapular retraction with the advanced tuck front lever progression, then there is no purpose trying to progress further with any more advanced progression such as the half lay or even the full. Our first objective is to come down and come back up in a rounded circular motion around the bar. Our second objective to strengthen our muscle up to front lever is to come down and hold our choice of progression. The second progression is the muscle up to half lay front lever hold and back up. Of course, with this progression, the load on our scapula is much greater, seen as though our hips are extended out to a half lay position. Ensure that when you come down, your hips do not drop. The mental cue in order to apply is that once you bypass the dipping phase, you must make a conscious effort to keep your hips glued towards the bar at all times. If you are able to perform at least four clean reps in the advanced tuck front lever, then you are ready to begin practicing the half lay front lever. In turn, once you are able to perform two to four clean reps in the half lay, you're now ready to perform your first clean rep in full front lever position. Body Senex. Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3pm European Easter Summer Time. 
For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course. And for those athletes who want to join the Bodysthenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Bodysthenics coach. See you guys in the next video.